everybody. I want to share with you an incredible lesson from the Katoris. The Katoris is filled with meaning and purpose. And if you haven't yet signed up, please do. And if you have, please forward it to one person you think could be part of this movement to say it every single day on behalf of the Jewish people. So the Tanchumas is something amazing. It says, the Katoras, that offering is more beloved to God than all other sacrifices. Now, let's stop for a second. The temple, the Beis HaMikdash was a busy place, filled with things going on, filled. One of the things going on were sacrifices. There was a big, huge altar in which they would sacrifice animals. Now, imagine that process. It was, it was massive. You had to buy and then bring up a lamb, a bull, or a ram, something, right? The sheep, and you brought it all the way up. And then once you did it, they had to slaughter it on one side and take out the blood and then, you know, display it and then bring it up there and burn it. It, it was it was massive. It took multiple kohanim, money. It was a whole process. It was a big deal. When you were done, you probably looked up to God and you're like, all right, we good? Most of the time it came because of a sin that you did. Way to connect. Awesome. The Katoras, on the other hand, was a small little sacrifice. Upstairs in this one little chamber, there was a, lots and lots, lots of Katoras. And every day you took a little bit of Katoras. What was it? It was a little bit of spices. You walk downstairs, you put a little a bit of uh, coals on a small little Mizbeach, and you you raised a small little pillar of smoke, and it smelled amazing, and it was awesome. Outside, they're shechting and slaughtering, and it smells like a slaughterhouse, and there's a bull and dismember. Inside, the guy's making some gorgeous incense. It's a pleasure. I don't understand. God looks at both and goes, that's the one, the small little one I love more? What? What about the effort? What's going on? Zohar tells us something amazing. This is what the Zohar says. Zohar says, the Keturus is lamala mikulam, here Keturus. The Keturus is the highest. Why? She'ena ba ali dechet. Didn't come because of sin. Asham didn't come because of guilt, avon, because of misdeed, Ella Simcha. You know why? Because why did someone bring a regular sacrifice? Usually it's because they did something wrong. That's wonderful. And there is a way that we connect to God after something went wrong. When people, all of us, feel in danger at risk. When we feel tragedy is striking or struck, whenever there's a moment of pain or sorrow or misery or th fear or threats, there's a natural inclination to connect to each other and to connect to God, to sacrifice, if you will, to lower yourself to more. People are praying more than they ever prayed before. People are connecting. You see this all over the place. Tragedy strikes and a nation comes together as one. Tragedy strikes and a family comes together as one. You see this all the time, an impending danger. People are praying in ways they never prayed their whole lives. Great, healthy, awesome, amazing. Then there's another way you connect to God. And that's because you have so much. No tragedy, no risk, just waking up one morning and going, I'm blessed. I have a blessing. I, 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 I feel amazing. And I don't want to have that feeling without connecting it to God. You connect to God, not through pain or fear, through, through joy. I'm blessed to be part of this nation. I'm blessed to do this, these wonderful mitzvahs. I'm blessed to learn this stuff. I'm blessed that I have this family. I'm blessed that I'm able to put food on my table. I wake up in the morning and I feel overwhelmed with blessing. And I want to connect that blessing to God. I want to share that with him. Now, that may be less. It may be a quick blessing or a moment or whatever it is than the whole process of pain and tragedy. But you as a parent, you tell me, what call do you appreciate more when your kids call? The one when they need something important, they call you. Or just a, hey, I was thinking about you. Tell you thank you and I love you. You love them both, which feels different. God says, I love everything you do. Keep on doing it. If you get together because of anything, you pray to me, great, I love it. It's all in the temple. All the sacrifices are in the temple. But the Katoras is not brought because somebody sinned. It's brought because it's increasing joy. When you sacrifice the Katoras, it brings a, a fragrance to the to the whole Beis HaMikdash. It was brought for no other reason than just to connect deeper to God. And for that, God says, I love it the most. In our lives, let's not forget, 
that it's so important to connect to Hashem whenever we feel anything negative, to say, I'm sorry, to connect because of pain, because we have to win a war, 100%. But in many ways, it's even more important to connect when things are not going wrong. Just to thank God for what he's given us, to connect to each other because we feel like we're blessed, because we want to share it because God gave, and I want to share it with others that don't have. When I serve God with joy, it's a higher level, more beloved service. The power of connecting through joy, and that's the lesson of the Qataris.